everyone. My name is Austin Belzer from Austin Bee Media, and I'm here with Augusto from A Vanishing Fog. He directed uh, A Vanishing Fog. It's premiering at, well, North American premiere at uh, South by Southwest because you had the Talon Black Knights pr premiere for this film. It's a film that's about a lot of things. So, I guess in your own words, what is this movie about? Because it's very intricate. Well, I Vanish Your Fog is a film about uh, solitude. It's about, uh, it's about, uh, it's a farewell to a father. It's a, it's a love letter to a father. He, it's a, it's a, it uh, unfolds in the mysterious paramo of Sumapaz in Colombia. It's a very strategic uh, land in, in Colombia that is a natural water factory. Um, and it's very, um, it's very beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a breathtakingly beautiful uh, place and so there is an isolated character who lives with his father uh, up in those mountains. He's a garden of, of, of the mountains and uh, he's preparing his escape. Uh, but before that, he must, he must uh, uh, deal with some things. Uh, and, and so it's a journey. I, I, I like to say the film is a journey where we invite you to get sucked in by the what, what what we offer, which is the imagery and the sounds, and and sort of let yourself travel through this experience. I, I, I call it a, an experiential film to to just uh, expect nothing but but uh, uh, a journey, a journey of, of, of un, unknown things and, and and little riddles that you have to uh, sort of navigate along the way to 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 get uh this uh many feelings many many um findings and it's a very unique film i would say and 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 because we did it in a place that had never been photographed before and with a character uh played by sebastian p who is also a photographer and this was this was this is his first uh, um, acting experience, and uh, he's very unique as well. So um, it's a film where I wanted to sort of um, juggle juggle with with many of the ideas I have about cinema and preconceptions about cinema language and sound and and these elements that that are really um, my, my main uh, concern, you know, finding, finding a language to, to express uh, true, honest feelings was, was the, the idea. And uh, so it's, it's, it's meditation and where I use cinema language to, to portray and, and express different things, I, I think, of, of of life and cinema and also it, it, it does make a political and social commentary on, on what's going on here in Colombia and South America, many parts of the world about the, the natural resources and the uh, climate change and these things that are being um, without focusing on that it does it does it does have this these elements. So when you say the film is about a lot of things it is but so it's life. Life is about many different things at the same time. Yeah, and you know, um, speaking about um, place, this is in. Apologies if I mispronounce this because I'm probably going to. Uh, the Peramo of Sumapaz, um, it, and it's this, like you said, a journey, and I think the audience is are learning about this place as this journey is happening. And so in that vein, what, what did you want people to learn about that location? It's 
the first film filmed there in ever. So, um, what, what did you? What, what what was the main thing that you wanted uh, people to learn for for those who haven't seen it? When you see the film, you're in for for a journey that will. Um, present to you a place that is, uh, as I said before, extremely beautiful, extremely rare. Uh, it's like out of this planet. And um, at the same time, it's a place that has suffered in its own flesh many of the tragedies of Colombian history, uh, forced displacement, uh, uh, violence, uh, uh, just uh, we have had uh, an internal conflict going on for for over a century, and um, I mean, ever since we're a country, two two hundred plus years ago, um, it's it's a constant um, in our history. And uh, I wanted to speak about those people who are less, at least vis visible, um, in Colombia. I mean, we have many different regions and different areas where where. Uh, um, sort of the the government is not as present and 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 they are isolated and they have their, their own rules and their own culture and their their own ways of, of being and and I wanted to expose uh, to to the national audience and to an international audience and and to those interested in this sort of um, lifestyle and and way of coexisting with, with 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 our world and and bring it to 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 to, to many people to as many people as I can um I think it's a place that uh, really needed to to get uh, to be seen mm -hmm. to, to be exposed to to the world it's it's a, it's a everything is interconnected uh, uh, ecologically speaking like the this is the up in the in the Andes mountain range, and it's very secluded and and Colombia has seventy percent of paramos in the world, so it's 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 very important. Uh, Colombia is very rich in water. Up over three hundred rivers are born out of this mountain range. Mm -hmm. The specific one we're speaking about, three hundred rivers is a lot. It's a lot. It's it's it, it's it's a big ecological impact, and it's connected with the with the Amazon rainforest, and it's of course connected with the Mississippi River in the US, everything is interconnected and we forget about this. And, um, and there are people who live there and we can humanize, humanize this, this, these people. If we don't know about somebody, we don't care about that person. But once we get to know a little bit about them, of course, we're gonna be more uh, interested and, and, and concerned if anything bad happens to them. Colombia has been going through a very uh, scary situation, which is that over a thousand social and environmental leaders have been killed over the over the last two years. That's a huge number, and uh, and when, what I'm speaking about on this film also happens in Brazil, and it happens in Australia, and it happens in Turkey, and it happens in the Ukraine, and it happens in different places. It happens in South Africa, where where uh, and in, in where there is a, a, a huge wealth of, of natural resources. And there are people who stand up for these lands and for these territories, and we have to also make them visible and at the same time use art to 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 do it in a in a in a in a beautiful way and also to call attention. So it's a very uh, it's a very special place that I that I think me as a Colombian needed to pay homage to and and and, and to make it visible internationally so to 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 respect these 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 people and to and to really value what they do as as caretakers of, of, of the land and, and the natural water resources and the water sources and, and and nature and flora and fauna and it's it's just important to to make these these uh people and situations visible yeah, for sure. And, you know, we talk about visibility and the first thing when I was writing up questions for this, I was thinking, you know, we just came off um, 
as of recording, uh, this will probably date things, but who cares? Um, the Spirit Awards were last night. I don't know if you watched, um, but, you know, we had um, storytellers from uh, nominated from uh, films such as Wild Indian, um, Reservation Dogs, a lot of um, diverse and indigenous storytelling from there, and it's making it visible. Unfortunately, Wild <coughs> Indian didn't win, um, but uh, Reservation Dogs did. Um, obviously not the same indigenous storytelling you're talking about, um, but I do think you say to make them visible. I think that's a big issue we're running into today is, you know, we, we, um, a few years ago you had that hashtag Oscar so white and then it's caused this avalanche of voices being heard. Um, and I just have to ask, um, how do you want to reclaim the story of, uh, of Columbia and by um, reverse osmosis indigenous people by telling the story. <clears throat> well, I think I think it's my job to make films. I'm not a politician, uh, but I do I do think uh, artists or filmmakers, writers, even even philosophers, I do have a responsibility with their time and and, and place. So uh, I wanted to make a film to express my own personal things, my own personal grief, my, my own personal uh, concerns. But, um, but also I think it's important to, to raise questions, to make, to make people wonder about these, these things. And, and, and that's as far as I go. I mean, it, it, I'm, it's it's not a documentary. It's not yeah. a it's, it's it's not it's not up to 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 open a debate on social issues because it's very complex. I mean, most Colombians don't even understand the reason why there's a conflict here. Um, most people don't care, sadly. But um, but I think if we understand from exploring the dimensions of a character in this case f uh we explore his mental state his spirituality his emotional um connections his sexuality his spirituality as much as i i, I, I can um portray on a film um it's it also very important to 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 hint a little bit about the context, you know, politically and socially and environmentally, especially living in a place like this. So that's as far as I go. I mean, the the, the film is is open for for debate. It does it does talk talk about um, things that Colombian filmmakers are are afraid of, like subjects that are afraid of, of, of touching, like. Uh, you know, sexuality, or 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 be or to show too much uh, sympathy for any any uh, uh, political situation in particular. So what I what I did is just to talk about it, to focus on my character, and through this character, show people how it is to live up here and and use poetry and, and 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 the visuals to 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 make this an experience where you where you feel compelled and and, and connected that's that's the thing if some of my image images and, and and sounds and and ideas stay with you as a viewer then i would i i i i have accomplished my 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 job but it's 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 difficult for a film to to become you know to talk about uh so many things it's just it's just it's just it's just uh, it, it's it's a film and and it's and it's art it's an art house film and and it's yeah. very independent and it's very very personal as well but 
but I think it does it does speak about things that happen in many places of the world, not only Colombia, it happens in Argentina and Mexico and Canada, it, it happens all over. Yeah, indigenous yeah. people are all over the place and we forget, even in Northern Europe, there's a bunch of indigenous people that are, are, are being taken over by, by by different languages and by different uh, by you know english as a, as a second as an official second language of many places and 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 their own cultures are dying down and, and that's very uh, concerning i think i think we have to uh be be as as global but uh, but not forget where where we're coming from and and, and and it's nice to preserve, although this is happening. This has been happen, happening for forever. But I think it, right now we, we, we come to a, to a crossroads where we need to really understand who we are to not lose our identities. And, and, and this is when art it comes to play a very important role. Yeah, and I mean, I think just as somebody on the outside looking in, I think of Colombia first thought I have and um is just coffee that's all that's my first thought is like I think most Americans even share that is like they look at Colombia and they just see oh you know the place where I get my coffee from um and grind them every morning or if you're bougie like that um but um but yeah I think that, that there is an important light to be shed on that because I think there is a lot of ignorance in that sense i mean if you th there, there is there is so much there is so much ignorance austin that i was once asked uh where i was from mm -hmm. and i said colombia and somebody said what part of mexico is that you know <laughs> and that happened in california a few years ago that sounds like um right. and colombia yeah i mean and Colombia is not only Shakira and Maluma and J Balvin and yeah. and coffee and Pablo Escobar and cocaine. You know, yeah. Colombia is many different things, and it's it's, it's multi ethnic as 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 is the United States. There's white, brown, black, and yellow, and all all is, is, there's everything. You know, and uh, um, with that comes a lot of a lot of subcultures and 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 regions and there is so many things that that are so beautiful and so rich that we it's 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 nice if we open ourselves and, and, and get to know i'm sure if you look at the united states the united states has a, a, an amazing history and 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 so many uh, migrants from all over the world uh coming in and, and and creating their own lives that if we look in and 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 see we, we we see hundreds of subcultures that are really interesting and and of course this has been uh, been portrayed in in, in, in cinema uh, through the decades but there is more and and I'm and I'm sure uh, the uh, amazing things can be can be done through cinema and literature and, and documentaries and and music of course as a as a as a, as a main part of the culture, but, but I think um, we need to come to a point to understand, to, 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 to acknowledge many cultures and to cherish them and to celebrate them and to, and to be, that would lead us to a, a more peaceful world, I would think, if we just think of ourselves as, 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 as different and that we can live together, being different would be, be great, would be ideal. Yeah. to respect one another yeah for sure and you know going back to something you said a, a while ago um and i forgot to comment on it um you've got two um first timers you've got a first time actor and a first time cinematographer um i believe his name is uh geo uh, as the cinematographer so I know you've worked on another film back in 2015, I believe it was. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, even though I looked at it this morning. Gentle breath, gentle breth, suave aliento. Yeah, and I just, I've never gotten the opportunity to ask this in any of my interviews, because I don't think I've ever heard of somebody working with a cinematographer for the first time. Um, 
what was what what was it like working with him and did you have to teach him anything or was it just hey I trust you to make my images look good let's go no it's it doesn't work like that <laughs> for my first film gentle breath uh, it was also a first time cinematographer yeah. many people many many people uh because I've been there need a chance mm -hmm. to get in the you know, a first a first time doing something, and I I trusted their 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 eye, their taste, and uh, working with Geo Park, he's Korean, he's not Colombian. Um, I would I, I thought he would bring a fresh eye. He's very he was so excited about the project. He was he really wanted me to do it. He. We, we we contacted him through a friend of mine who knew him, and he was he was basically uh, he was doing shorts, and he was very so passionate that I that I thought I need I need this kind of passion on board. He was so excited, and 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 um, when when he saw when he when we went look at, uh, scouting, uh, he couldn't believe it. So. Um, I have a I have a, a, a cinematography background as well, and and I thought if we just because we needed to be a small team, small crew, uh, because of the conditions, we are at, at what is it, twelve thousand feet above sea level, you know, uh, and above up to fifteen thousand. Um, so it's 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 hard to breathe. It's very humid. It's very rainy. It's, it's very foggy. It's it's uh, it's just difficult to move around, and we needed the small gear, very few people, just to for for certain shots, and and he was so. Uh, we talked we talked we talked a lot before, you know, during during pre production, and then and then once we, I mean, I had I had been thinking about this film for two years before I shot it, so I had everything pretty much synced in and and my relationship with with sebastian with the actor um and it was the first film for for many people actually um not in post-production you can you can see that uh but in 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 production in in during principal photography there were a few first timers and and we involved people from the community they worked they would they were part of of the crew some of them and uh, they were just happy to help out. We didn't want to come to this area and steal their, their you know, photograph for, to photograph their, their 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 territory without having them get something back. Something back, not about money. It, it's about it's about a uh, you know giving back. And so we created these um, workshops for them uh where we would teach them i brought we brought uh, six different experts in every area of, of filmmaking and uh we gave out some very nice theory and 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 and, and, and practical uh workshops where they would just learn and we would have, we had people from 10 age 10 to age 70 and they were so excited and this this was so new and fun we ended up shooting three short films with them that they 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 where they did everything we just gave them the cameras and the gear and they just they, they did their their they shot their stories and and we learned we learned a lot a lot from them and some of those people were actually part of our 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 film we we brought in about six or seven of them to be part of the crew and to get enthusiastic about cinema and um so they could tell their stories later on when we were gone no, yeah. They, they, we we needed we needed to leave them leave them some something, and I figured this is the only thing we can really give them the tools to to keep doing it, and yeah, uh, and and we did, and the shorts are are they were they were done, and and so yeah, it's it's it, it it's it's a lot of uh, energies and and. And 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 compromise coming together to to make a film that was very small, was very personal, and it started growing, 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 growing. Mm -hmm. uh, then later on, more 
our um, uh, partners came in, uh, the Norwegians, the, the Czechs, and, and, and here in Colombia, we started uh, winning some funding. Um, so it, 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 was, it, got, it got bigger as, as, as the film was uh, being developed and, and being shot and, you know. So it's a process that has been very beautiful. And um, I, I am always open, open to working with, with newcomers. I think they, people have a very, uh, when they do something for the first time, they have a, an amazing attitude and an amazing, just hungry. And, and I love that. When, when people are passionate about what they do. Yeah, I, I mean, I do too, right? Otherwise I wouldn't um, be interviewing you at like 10 a.m. But um, I, I think I would be like, no, nah, I'm just going to drink some coffee and uh, write, write up the Spirit Awards winners. But, um, but no, um, but in that vein, you know, um, I just, I just want to thank you for the opportunity. I mean, my favorite interviews are where I don't have to talk because I hate hearing myself talk um, because my microphone feeds everything I say back into my headphones. And I just hate that. You know, the common thing of, um, I think it's a common thing, but um, I hear every now and then somebody who edits the pod, their podcast, they'll be like, oh, I hate hearing myself talk. So I just like, don't listen to it or once it's done I just throw it in the um I, I don't subscribe to it but um anyways um I'm getting long-winded um but um Augusto I seriously thank you so much for coming on I know South by Southwest is um is it next week goodness it's next week I can't believe that at all um but yeah, I, I think, yeah, it's next week. The 11th, I think, is when it starts. So yeah, this is Friday. Goodness. Yeah, I know. Friday is our, is our first screening. Yeah. So I'm very, I'm looking forward to that, to see the reaction from people from watching a very weird film from South America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll be <laughs> interested to see the reaction um, because, you know, this is my first South by Southwest ever. Um, so even though I'm not, I won't be in Austin, it'll be interesting to kind of monitor Twitter and be like, Hey, what are people talking about? Uh, assuming they use the South appropriate hashtags, but they probably won't, um, no, knowing, just trying to keep up with spirit Awards stuff last night. I'm like, Oh, I can't find any of this stuff. Oh, I wonder why. And then I just look at all these fan accounts retweeting, like, photos of actors and actresses and I'm like I don't want to see that I want to see actually thoughts about this thing so it takes forever but um anyhow um yeah Augusto thank you so much for coming on I you can catch um Vanishing Fog on at South by Southwest um I believe it's online there's screenings throughout the week I, I, I don't think there's a way you could miss a Vanishing Fog but uh Showtimes will be down below. A link to the show page, South by Southwest page, will be below as, as long as, uh, as well as the trailer um, and a bunch of other cool stuff I think you, you know, um, everyone listening and watching should check out. So with that, Gusto, I'm going to drink some more coffee and talk about uh, Spirit Awards here and um, get some other South by Southwest stuff done. All right, Austin, thank you very much for this little chat. And I hope you enjoyed the, the film and, and that we hope uh, it reaches American audiences soon. Yeah. Um, I'll, be, I'll be posting stuff on my, on my Instagram as well. And it's at ES Augusto Sandino. And uh, we'll be uh, see what happens we'll, we'll be seeing what happens uh from here and thank you for for uh being uh in the scope of of, of, of this kind of cinema so i think it's very important to, to make it visible yeah for sure i mean i was just talking what interview was, was i just on on friday or something like that i forget which interview it was on i think it was 
Oh, the blind man who didn't want to see who did not want to see Titanic. Um, I, I said it here, and I'll say it again, just in case anyone needs it reiterated. I think it's important for at festivals where, especially since it's in person, I think some films can get, tend to get lost in the shuffle of things, especially with how many um, films South by Southwest is showing. I mean, I, I look at it, and even I, who watches like 30 films at a festival, is like, whoa, maybe slow your rain, South by Southwest. Maybe just give, give me like five a day. Give, just give me five a day. But um, but no, um, I, I I think it's important to seek out stories that you may nece- may not might not necessarily be at first glance be like, oh, I would like that. Maybe take a second or third or fourth glance, um, because you'll find stories um, that I think you'll love. Um, because I think one of the most important parts of a festival is finding those gems that are just nobody's talking about. I mean, I found so many hidden gems at um, Sundance last year, um, at AFI Fest, um, oh, just a ton of, I saw Seven Days at Benville Film Festival. Um, just, I think, if I had any advice, if, if anyone watching this is, going to South by Southwest online or physically, just go check out the film. Even if you have to watch it on the app on your phone, I mean, I don't recommend it, but I mean, if that's what you got to do while you're waiting in line for another film, at least watch it. I mean, your pass includes online, I believe. So why not? I I, I think, I, I, I just think, you know, what have you got left to lose other than just, hey, I watched this film and I'm really excited about it. And then people are talking about it on Twitter and Instagram and all the places needed to get it, a film like this visible. But it's important It's important also to, when, when, when you watch a film, to really watch it with a lot of attention, with yeah. to, to, to focus on the, on, on the film because the film is speaking in different, in different, different, yeah, maybe different not levels. This- so. Maybe don't watch this film on your phone. Maybe don't watch this. No, film. this one is this one is deliberately made for the big screen with the collective experience of yeah. people and big, uh, big image and the 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 right sound. Yeah, I think it's important because we've paid so much attention to the mix and to the sound design and to the music. It's so many different elements that that I really do make these experience different. So, no, but, but, you know, what you're saying is right. I mean, I think, I think people need to be, need to, recently or in, for the past few years, people are so used to short content, five to seven minutes and everything has to go fast and, and, and people have no time and the attention span is so limited that when you sit down and, and, and just let yourself go and, and, and allow yourself to, to, to be offered something from the from the creators, I think it's 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 worth it. It's too fast, and that's not so good sometimes. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I I think I I took a chance on nine days uh, at AFI Fest twenty twenty. I could I could probably go on and on all day with examples about festival films that I think I thought I was gonna hate. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait, this is actually really good. Now, granted, I'm not watching it with all of you in person. Uh, I couldn't get to Austin this year. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year. Maybe, maybe next year. If I'm, if I'm good, South by Southwest will say, okay, let's invite them next time. Um, but yeah, um, in person. Um, so yeah, with that, I won't take up any more of your time, Agu. So check out this film. I'll have right. everything linked in the description thing whatever below so have a great day right. you, so you too thank you ciao